We are students from the East Los Angeles Renaissance Academy, also known as Elara. Elara is a school of urban planning and design at Esteban Torres High School. Our beliefs are a window into who we are. I believe that helping each other is necessary. We all bother our own problems and can use a little push from one another. You don't know what people go through, so why add to their problems? We should help each other with the burdens we carry. Small kind gestures, gestures might not seem like much, but they can go a long way. I believe that anyone can change if they want and try. Not long ago, I said to myself, I am not going to get angry anymore because it doesn't get me anywhere. I decided, why don't I change that? People can change if they try. I believe I had to stop being negative and start being positive about myself. I can't achieve anything. I just need to go for it. I won't let anybody bring me down by, by saying I can't do it. Now, I focus on what I have to do to be successful. I believe when a couple breaks up, they should respect each other and let go. I was trapped for about a year, bothered by my ex every day and night. I was scared to go out and I was hurt emotionally and physically by him. I didn't tell anyone. Finally, my family noticed and saved me from his abuse. I believe we should respect each other. My name is Julio and I believe, uh, I believe that hard work pays off. Soccer is my favorite sport. Um, when, I, when Team Charles came, I was the first one on the field. Um, I was nervous, but I got on the team and was so happy. I learned that if you, if you work hard in what you want, you will get it. If you're on a team, work hard, hard together because hard work pays off. I believe that having motivation is important. I've always wanted to accomplish things that interested me or would make me a better individual. One of those goals is to graduate high school. My name is Daniel and this is what I believe in. I believe we should appreciate the things we have. We never know when something will be taken away. My dad came to the U.S. from Mexico and is undocumented. One morning after he had left for work, my mom and I woke up to loud knocks on the door. My mom peeked out the window and saw ice written on the jackets. I was scared and thought they were trying to break in. The people from ice left. If they would had gotten my dad and sent him back to Mexico, I wouldn't be in school anymore. I'd be working to help my family. You never know when the people you love will be taken from you. My name is Alejandra. I believe that life gives you second chances. When I was 10 years old, I quarantined bacterial meningitis. I spent nine days in the hospital. I was quarantined from my family, and they were just able to see me through a big window. I felt very bad, my head hurt, and, and they were just able to see me through a big window. I, felt, uh, I was the first child that the doctors treated with this type of disease. After being in the hospital for days, I got better. Life gave me a second chance. Now I'm 19 years old, and life has presented me many opportunities. For instance, knowing my mother, working hard to obtain an excellent education, and striving for the best. I live my life like tomorrow does not exist, and strive to reach my goals. My name is Marnie, and I believe people can change. When I became a teenager, I became a rebel. In middle school, I would leave school all the time. In high school, I would do the same thing, but was more of a troublemaker. Then I realized I was just hurting my mom by my actions and sacrificing my future career. I started to change. I wanted to become a better person for my mom and myself. I became responsible and now I'm doing well in school and with my mom. I'm graduating in class of 2015. I'm proud of what I have accomplished.